welcome back on another video of editing OSM data so to see the changes you have just made uh, you can refresh the page by using ctrl f5 and it will uh, remove the catchy and display all the changes which you have made so now we can see the farmland we have just mapped the village and the two houses and the tree row and the road and we'll just keep editing and adding more data about a village So, while editing, we can switch between multiple satellite views. We have uh, three or four sources listed on the right. We can select Bing, we can select S3, we can select Mapbox. Uh, S3 looks good to me, so I'll just keep using S3. And you can select Map Data and see what you want to hide or what you want to be displayed. So, I don't want this boundary to be displayed to me while, I, while I'm editing. So I'll quickly simply deselect the boundaries option so it will be hidden. So it says three features are hidden which is the boundary because I don't want to work with the boundary right now. So I'll simply click uh, continue and continue the mapping process. So one thing you have to remember is to not merge multiple features. So if there is a farmland and there is a road they need to be separated by some distance so they are not merged. So this is how we continue mapping and on same time I will simply click enter. We have reached another village. I will select area and then map the boundary of the village and residential area. You can see a road here which is not really a road. Uh, you can select a dip different type of road. Uh, you can start here. So once you are done, select minor roads. So this is a minor road. This is not a major road because by looking at satellite imagery, I can understand. You can select track or land access road because it does not have a proper surface. If you are aware of what the surface the road is, so this is asphalt, I can select asphalt here. So this is how we map the road. Uh, if we see more features here, I see a bridge here. So there is a stream which I'll map. I'll simply select a line and draw the stream. So I'll search for a stream. So now that I mapped the stream, I'll see a warning here, which is tertiary road crosses a stream. So there needs to be a bridge here. So select the road and it will suggest you to add a bridge. If you select the stream, it will suggest you to add a tunnel. So I know that this is a bridge. So I'll select the road. I'll click on add a bridge. And now I have a bridge which I can adjust. So this is a different part. So this is a structure is a bridge and this is a normal road. So it has done it automatically for me. So this is how you map bridges and tunnels and another village residential area. I want to center it. Good. So this is how you map uh, much more complex structures. And I'll save it. I'll add a comment. Added some roads and streams upload so the upload is done we have our new data which i can see by refreshing the page thank you